weather of fall triggers muskies to go on a feeding binge in an effort to bank energy stores for the coming winter. This is trophy time for any serious muskie fisherman. Lake of the Woods has good numbers of muskies in the bragging size range, and trolling in the fall is a great way to target these fish. Let's join Steve Panaz and Dan Larson for some tips on fall trolling. Dan, fish, fish, fish. fish. All right, right off that point, huh? Water, huh? How's it feel? I can't tell yet. I can't tell, it's, I think it's a ski though, it's got some weight. Okay, get that net. Tell you what, I'm gonna try and, oh, he's got some weight, Dan. He's got some weight. Wanna switch places here? No, I wanna stay by the motor here. Shut the motor off, would you? Sure. Oh, right off that point. That deep bait again. I haven't seen him yet. Oh, it's a ski, nice ski. Nice big fish. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Woo! <laughs> lighting up the drag, lighting up the drag. We got a little snow spitting. Oh, this, if, if you think of October musky <laughs> fishing, this is it. 35 degrees out, spitting snow. It's cold. He looks hooked pretty well. Nice oh, loosen the drag, loosen the drag. You want to net this fish? Uh, yeah, he's got too many hooks in him. Take him, take him. <laughs> you know, that's where a big net really comes in handy, huh? <laughs> what a monster fish. Just so, so girthy, you know? Get it, get it underneath, there you go. All right, let's lay her down here. I'm gonna get the net get right the up. Get the net from out from under her. All right. Okay, what do we got for length? One inch right there. About 45 inches. 45 inches. Really a fat, fat fish though. Really thick. Now, it's amazing. Here at Lake and Woods, this is not even a legal fish if you wanted to keep it anyway. I'm gonna let her go. Here we go, Dan. Nice fish, Steve. There she goes. All right, nice fish. Fish is dry. <laughs> <laughs> I love big skis, man, Great I love fish. them. All right, let's, let's get, get another, another fish. one. I gotta get the jacket on, it's cold. It is chilly. October in the North Country, I don't, I don't think there's a better place to be right now. On big water lakes or reservoirs with a pelagic forage base, there is commonly a percentage of the muskie population that doesn't relate to shallow water and shoreline areas. Frequently, these are some of the biggest fish in the system. They follow the pelagic forage, such as ciscos or shad, and suspend or relate to main lake humps. In the fall, many of these pelagics enter shallow water for spawning purposes, drawing these big muskies with them. So, by trolling shorelines in fall, you not only contact the fish that reside there, you can hopefully get your bait in front of one of these open water monsters. So Dan, most people think of trolling as just kind of point the boat in one direction and head down the shoreline, but really it's a specialized type of fishing and with the right tackle you can, you can get big fish. Now for trolling for big muskies here up on Lake of the Woods, we got a realistic shot at a 40, 45, even 50 pound fish, so we want real heavy equipment. We got a seven foot rod, stiff action, it's actually a heavy action rod that allows us to work these big jerk baits as we come through the water. It's not fatiguing, it's also good to get good hook sets. Well trolling these big baits at speed with these big lips, trolling at speed with that bait diving, if you had a softer rod, you're just not going to be able to impart that action, the, the rod would fold up on you. So we're using these these stiffer jerkbait style rods. Yeah, whenever we come over a point, it's pop, 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 trying to get the, a fish to trigger. The other key is having a, a good reel. Now, I like the big game series simply because when I'm wearing gloves, I can get my thumb in there and have the room to, to uh, work the reel. Yes. And it's also got a great drag. No stretch lines are great because muskies are notorious for glomming onto a bait like this and holding on, and you can't move the bait with a monofilament line. So you want a no stretch line. Whiplash is a new product from Berkeley. It's a great new super braid, super thin. 80 pound test is only 17 pound diameter. So I can have heavy line, no stretch capabilities, 
and I can get these big baits down deep because the line's so thin. I'm running the fire line in, in about a 50 pound. It's a little more thickness diameter wise, but that was advantageous while we were fishing up here as well uh, for running a bait on the inside, depending on which shoreline we're fishing. We'd switch rods back and forth. That's right. Be, we'd run the same bait, different line, and we wouldn't get quite as much depth and avoid some of those snags uh, by running this fire line on the inside line. When we would get hung up, uh, these baits we're fishing are floating baits. With a sinking bait, you'd have to back all the way up, bring in the other line, get on the flip side of it, and maybe be able to retrieve your bait. With these floating baits, we'd back down a little bit, throw a little slack. More often than not, that bait would float up. So not only do you get more fishing time, you, you save some bucks by not losing as many baits as well. One of the other keys when you're trolling in this shield type lakes is everybody has this understanding or thought that these super braids are super abrasion resistant. When in fact, you nick those on a rock, they bust off pretty easy. We're using a long leader. This is actually about a 100 pound test leader and it's 36 inches long, so it allows us to run that over the rocks mm -hmm. and, and keep our line way up here. So the keys are long leader, floating bait, no stretch line, heavy action rod, and a reel with a good drag and enough room for when you got a lot of clothes on. Let's go get them. Pretty simple. Yeah, I'm ready to hit some more. People think of trolling as being a pretty passive thing. This is uh, not passive, what we're doing today, that's for no, sure. No, this is not Rick trolling for marlin or salmon. We're, <laughs> we're trying to ram these baits in every nook and cranny and rock pile out here. And it just covers miles of shoreline. And eventually, we're going to hook up. We're moving along at a pretty good clip here. Yeah, if you watch the shoreline, it gives you an idea how fast we're actually going. And you wouldn't think that with this 44 degree water, the fish would want that, but these muskies are really aggressive this time of year. I think that speed kind of triggers them. Yeah, and every time you pump that rod, that bait hesitates, looks wounded, something a little different. And you bet. Damn, 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 got one. Got one? All right. <laughs> How's it feel? Oh, I, got, I can't tell you yet. It's good fish. <laughs> This is definitely a ski, that. definitely a ski. Oh. Am I in neutral? Yeah, you're in neutral. Hey, make sure we don't pile up on the rocks here. I might have to bump us out. Oh, it's got nice head shakes, Dan. Good weight, really Come good weight. Come around me if you want here. Which way you got the motor going? All right, neutral. Take us out a little bit. Neutral. Boy, this is heavy fish, Dan, heavy fish. Oh, we came off that little rock hump about the time I figured the lure was coming off there. Bam! You haven't got a look at it yet, have you? No, it's definitely a ski though. It's really heavy. I got a head shake. Ah. Whoa, where's she going? It's take and drag, take and drag. Slip and drag. Here. Let me get back here with you. Alrighty. Oh. She didn't really pound it. It was mostly just kind of a... It engulfed it? Yeah. I'm going to lead her head toward the net. She's coming at the boat again. I'm going to wait till... I'm not going to risk knocking it off. I'm going to wait till we've got a good... Oh, she took a lot of drag. Got her under control well. And... Oh, she's staying deep. The... Oh, oh, big <laughs> fish. Big <laughs> fish. Get him, get him, get him, get him. That is a big, big fish. What a right. huge muskie. Stan, she'll Wait. go 30. She's got some serious length here. She's going 30. Let's get that bait out of her. Alrighty. You know, muskies are really a rare fish. They're called fish of 10,000 casts. And a fish this big is a true trophy. Now, I'm not one for mounting fish. If you are, you can get a replica, but these fish should go back in and get them in the water as soon as you get them unhooked. And, and revive them before you let them go because they're just too valuable a resource to, to waste. But.